Robert Curry, Innovative Air Solutions again, continuing our series on system and duct design. I uh, want to get into a little bit more of the design side uh, in these next few videos. We want to begin talking about heat loads and actually how heat affects a home. If you're taking a refrigeration class or air conditioning class, at some point you're beginning to learn about heat transfer. Heat transfer is basically we just take heat from one space and move it to the other. As an example of a, of a home or office building as we're standing in right now, when the air conditioning system runs, we absorb the heat from inside the space and we just transfer it to the outside. The best example or best way to describe that to you is if we put our hands up in front of a, a, a supply grill during the air conditioning mode, we feel very cool air blowing out of our ductworks. If you walk outside and put your hand above an outside unit that's running, you'll feel very warm air, very hot air. That's actually physically the heat that's being transferred out of the building and is being transferred to that outside unit. So we are, in essence, just responsible for moving heat as air conditioning technicians. Uh, it's very important that we understand how the heat gets in the building and the heat can get in the building through several different things. We talked in one of our previous videos about uh, uh, running clothes dryers. A clothes dryer will exhaust a certain amount of air, as an example, 100 cubic feet of air per minute. Whatever we exhaust out of that duct will be made up from the outside doors, windows, cracks, things of that nature. Uh, we need to keep that in mind. But we also get heat from other sources. Uh, the sun will rise in the east, travel around the south, and then set in the west in the afternoon. This is also another source of heat on our exterior walls. Uh, other sources of heat can include windows. Uh, if windows are single pane metal frame windows, if we see some older construction, uh, single pane wood frame windows, uh, we need to understand that, that these windows will leak tremendous amounts of air. Uh, years ago, I lived in a home that had the single pane metal frame windows and we had a very cold snap for, for we're located in Southeast Texas. Uh, we had a very extreme cold snap for us and you could walk by the windows and feel the cold air coming in the windows. Uh, the, these things bleed energy like, like no one's business. Uh, but uh, understand that we are getting heat from those, from those, uh, from those sources, okay? Uh, heat can also be generated from, in, from within the home, uh, be running again, clothes dryers, washing machines will provide humidity. Uh, if we're cooking, we're producing heat inside the home, we're also providing humidity hot showers, anything like that that we do in a home will add heat and humidity, humidity and moisture inside of our homes. So we just need to understand that when we're dealing with a heat load and we're talking about uh, heat loads and heat transfer, we must move that heat out of the space or into the space, whichever we're trying to do. Robert Curry, Innovative Air Solutions. Have a great day.